Hi, I'm John Delano, political editor, KDK-TV. And our special guest is the Republican candidate for state Senate in the 37th Senatorial District, Devlin Robinson. Mr. Robinson, thank you, sir, very much for being with me. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me, John. So let me ask you a little bit about your background. Who exactly is Devlin Robinson? Well, John, I'm from here. I'm a local guy. I graduated from high school in June of 2001. I signed up for the Marine Corps in July of 2001. Whenever I saw the events of September 11th, I changed my contract to the infantry so that I would be the person on the front lines. And because of that decision, I did two tours in Iraq and one in Afghanistan. I got out of the Marines, started a small business about a year later called Veterans Medical Technology. And I've been running that ever since. I have a heart for service and um, I do a lot of work with uh, veterans transitioning out of the, uh, the military into civilian life. And am I remembering you're, you live in Bridgeville? Did you grow up in the Chartiers Valley? No, I didn't. I grew up in the city of Pittsburgh. I um, grew up in the neighborhood of Brookline sure. and I went to Central Catholic High School. I uh, bought my house about a, 10 years ago in Bridgeville. I've been living there ever since. Yeah. So you don't really have a political background as such. It's really military and business. Is that right? Yes. I really have a passion for service. And whenever I was discharged from the military, you know, that passion for serving the, the country and the community uh, didn't leave me whenever I took the uniform off. So now you are the Republican candidate for the state Senate uh, in the 37th district a district, I might add, that it's been represented by Republicans uh, almost continuously since World War II, with the exception of eight years represented by three Democrats. Uh, none of them lasted very long. Um, so why do you wanna be the state senator from this district? Well, John, like I said, the uh, passion for serving my country and the community and the Commonwealth uh, didn't leave with my discharge from the Marine Corps. And I think that people of the 37th District in Western Pennsylvania need somebody in Harrisburg who's going to advocate for them. Well, how has Senator Iovina failed to do that? The Senator has a record on, um, on very, uh, a very liberal agenda. And uh, that includes raising taxes on small businesses and um, defunding the police and uh, public funding of abortions. Well, let me ask you about that, if I may. Uh, first, let me ask you about defunding police. Has she actually voted to defund the police? No, but she's endorsed by a lot of groups who uh, are in favor of that. Well, I guess, I mean, is there legislation in Harrisburg? to take money away from police that she's signed on or has she done something specific? That's a pretty strong charge to make. Well, she's marching in the street with a lot of the um, people who support defunding the police. Gotcha. Uh, what about on, did you say abortion on demand? Is that something that you say she supports? No, I said taxpayer funded abortions. I'm sorry. Yes, thank you for correcting me taxpayer funded abortions. I, give me an example. What do you mean by that? Well, abortion has always been a, a decisive, decisive topic um, since Roe v. Wade. And the compromise was that taxpayers weren't going to fund it. And um, Planned Parenthood is funding uh, abortions with taxpayer money. And she supports that? Yeah. yeah. I believe so. She, she, I mean, accepted their, she accepted their endorsement and uh, filled out their questionnaire and, and accepted uh, PAC money. Yeah. Um, you say that she is really a, is she one of the most liberal members of the state Senate? Um, give me I believe so. Yeah, give me some examples, uh, uh, Mr. Robinson. What is it that, that you say suggests that She's very liberal. You, you mentioned the abortion issue. That is one. Um, certainly uh, defunding police. Are there others? Well, I'm, I'm worried that 
they haven't, the Democrats in general haven't discussed how they're going to uh, recover from this COVID recession. And Pennsylvania is one of the most taxed states in the union. And that seems to be the Democrats game plan that anytime that there's ever a budget shortfall, they raise taxes. And that always hurts small businesses and, and Western Pennsylvania families. Tell me a little bit more about uh, some of the positive things that you would like to do if you're elected to the state Senate. Well, like I said, I would like to be an advocate for uh, the people of the 37th district in Western Pennsylvania. I think that these people, they um, moved to this area because of the school districts and because uh, there's economic opportunity and there's a, a, an availability for economic growth. And I think that, you know, we want to welcome those uh, people in and welcome those businesses into Western Pennsylvania so that they could thrive. So does that mean something specific with respect to the state Senate in terms of legislation that you would advocate? Well, I think that we should, I, I believe my ideology is that government should be a partner for the people in the business community. I think that, um, you know, tax incentives for companies to move into Western Pennsylvania uh, and, and thrive and, you know, benefit off of our great cultural heritage and, uh, and our natural resources is important. I have uh, received a number of, of uh, I guess, mailing pieces from you. You've sent out a lot of mailing. And I live in the 37th Senatorial, as you probably know. And uh, these are all very positive pieces. Um, but you are running a negative TV ad against uh, Senator Iovino. And I think we've discussed some of those issues. Uh, do you think it's appropriate to, uh, to, to go negative on an opponent in a campaign? It's not about going negative. It's about being truthful. Um, as I said before, abortion is a very decisive issue in this country. And we've always compromised by saying that uh, it will not be funded by taxpayer dollars. And Senator Ivino uh, does not support that. Uh, the Democrats have sent out a, a mailing too, which I think you've seen, basically calling you a GOP insider. What do they mean by that? Is it because I'm registered as a Republican and I'm running for office? I, I don't really know. Yeah. Well, fair enough. You shouldn't have to <laughs> explain what they're up to. Uh, but they do go on to attack you, basically saying that you've taken a campaign contribution from former Congressman Tim Murphy, uh, that you've taken money from white nationalist extremists, and that you uh, are, uh, have been accused by fellow Republicans of a pay-to-play scheme. Do you want to respond to any of that? Well, first of all, Tim Murphy served this district uh, for 14, 15 years. And, you know, I, I think that he did a pretty good job in, in advocating for the people of Western Pennsylvania. So I'm not ashamed of, of taking his campaign contributions. Um, the second bullet point that I've taken money from an extremist candidate um, who has ties to white nationalism you know, they don't even, that's so ambiguous. I, I think it's really disgraceful and disgusting. I serve this country. I served alongside people of every race, creed, and religion. And we only cared about one thing, and that was getting the mission done. And you have no problems condemning white nationalism. I have no problems condemning white nationalism. I think that that's a disgrace. And the third point they make against you? The third point that they make against me is, you know, that was typical cannon fodder in an election year. Um, my Republican opponent said that I had taken a, a pay to play deal um, for working for a political candidate. Um, you know, I, it's totally false. And uh, I'll, I'll leave it at that. If, yeah. if you're working for somebody, you deserve a, a paycheck as well. Well, sure. I don't think anybody should would begrudge that. So let me ask you, as voters are actually, they're now voting in the 37th senatorial as they are across Pennsylvania. What do you want them to think about 
when they go into that voting booth or if there's voting by mail as they sit at the kitchen table and mark that ballot for state senate, what's your message to them? What do you want them to think about? That Devlin Robinson is always going to be their voice in Harrisburg. I'm not running for any political party. I'm running to represent a district. And that means, uh, it's interesting you say that because uh, Senator Iovino cites the fact that she's very bipartisan, that she works with Republicans in the state Senate. It sounds like uh, you guys may be sort of on the same wavelength on this. Is this something the district wants? I believe so. I believe that the district wants somebody that's just going to sit there and reach across the aisle and get the mission done. I like the way you use mission, spoken like a true military guy. Mm, that's right. Devlin Robinson, a great pleasure to be with you. Thank you, sir, very much for talking to me today. Thanks, John.